how to save your content that you create on a whiteboard using your smart interactive display. So you can see here I have a great lesson, the dog is happy. I wanna save this to the actual smart interactive display device. So super simple, take your finger, hold it down on the whiteboard, and then Heather, if you just come and zoom in here, you can see that there is a little icon that popped up that shows it's saved. This saved as a smart notebook file. So when you open it again, you can actually use it, edit it, continue the process. Where is it? So I'm gonna click on my back button right here. And I'm gonna go right here, Heather, if you can just zoom in and show where files are. There's an option to look at stuff there. However, what is on your home screen is what is recent. So I can see that on my home screen, this is my most recent lesson. It's in a smart notebook file, as you can see. I'm gonna click it and I can continue adding all of my content and continue interacting with the board. Now, if you wanted, for example, to save this as a PDF and attach it to your Hapro workspace, for example, in the future, you can do that. So I'm gonna click right here on my little share button and I'm gonna save as PDF. I'm gonna click it right there. And then it's gonna ask me to select my folder. So at this point, I can also rename it. So I can click, I can drag, I can just delete everything there, and I'm gonna write dog.pdf. Next, I want it to go to my downloads, and I'm gonna click save. It's saying exporting file, perfect. I'm gonna click on my back button, back to my home screen. Now notice the PDF is not showing up in your recent files because your smart files are showing up here. So I'm gonna click on the files icon right here at the bottom, and then you can see that at the top, it's in public files. We saved this to downloads. So I'm gonna click on it, and instead of being in public files, I'm gonna to go to my downloads. And now in my downloads, you can see I have the PDF of what I just saved. So it's not in a smart notebook file, it's in an actual PDF file that I can then open, upload at a later time to my Hapro workspace or however you see fit.